Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Arduino beginner tutorial. Today we're gonna learn how to make a laser bank security system as seen in the movies. If you don't have already an Arduino beginner kit or if you're missing any of the sensors, check out the link in the description. Let's get started. For this tutorial, you're gonna need a protoboard, Arduino Uno, a laser, a buzzer, a light sensor, a RGB light, some wires, and 220 ohms resistors. As you see, the blue row and the red row are separated in the middle of the protoboard, so we're just gonna take two wires and connect them. Now we're gonna take two more wires I'm gonna take the orange wire and connect it to the 5 volts pin on the Arduino Uno and the black wire and connect it to the ground. Now we're gonna take the ground wire and connect it to the blue row on the protoboard and we're also gonna connect the 5 volts wire on the red row of the protoboard. Now we're gonna take a RGB light and as you see the RGB light has two pins, one is longer, one is shorter. The longer one is always a plus and the shorter one is always ground. So we're gonna put this into the protoboard and now we're gonna take a 220 ohms resistor and place it into the ground wire across the middle of the protoboard which is separated as you see the line in the middle. And now we're gonna take the white wire and connect it to the ground. Now we're gonna take another wire and connect the longer side of the RGB light to the Arduino pin 4. Alright, this is it for the RGB light, now let's go to the buzzer. So as you see we have 3 pins on the buzzer, 2 of them are marked, one of them is a S, one of them is a minus. So on the left side we got minus, on the middle is plus, and the S wire is for controlling the buzzer. Now we're just gonna put this here and we're gonna start connecting the pins. So we're gonna take the middle wire and connect it to the plus. Now we're gonna take the bottom wire and connect it to the pin 10 on the Arduino. And we have one more wire that we have to connect to the ground on the protoboard. Alright, so this is all for the buzzer, let's go to the laser. The laser has also 3 pins, so we're gonna need 3 wires for that. I connected multiple wires together so we have more distance between the laser and the sensor. The laser has 3 pins and 2 of them are marked again, we got a S pin and a minus pin. Now because we don't have to control this laser and it's gonna be turned on all the time, we can just connect the ground pin which is on the right side of the sensor to the blue row of the protoboard and the other pins to the red row of the protoboard which is basically 5 volts. This video I'm just gonna use a foam and two needles, I'm gonna pin it down. Now we're gonna take some cardboard, roll it and use some tape to hold it together. And we're gonna use a small square pin two holes into it and put the light sensor pins through the cardboard. Now let's just tape this to the other side. So this is it. Let's connect the wires. On this sensor it doesn't matter what side we use for the plus and for the minus. In my case I'm gonna connect the right side to the plus and the left side to the protoboard and we're gonna use a resistor which is gonna go to the ground and to the first pin of the row and we're gonna use another wire and connect it to the middle between the pins of the minus wire of the sensor and the 220 ohms resistor pin and we're gonna connect this wire to the Arduino board A5 alright this is it we wired everything now let's go to the code so first of all we're gonna name all the pins so let's just type const int LED equals 4 because the LED light is connected to the pin 4 and let's do the same for the buzzer const int buzzer equals 10 and for the sensor, constant sensor equals A5. We're also gonna need a bool variable. So a bool variable is always true or false. So let's just type bool movement detected equals false. So when the code begins, movement detected is gonna be false. And once we detect the movement, we're gonna set it to true. We're also gonna need a delay. So let's type int delay timer equals zero. So we're gonna use just int over here and not constant because, because we're gonna change the delay timer number. And we used constant at the top because the LED light is always gonna be connected to the pin four while we're running the code. All right, so that's it. Let's go into the setup function. All right, so now let's go to the setup function. So this function only runs one once when you power up the Arduino. But we're gonna use this function to define what the pins are actually doing. So we're gonna type pin mode LED output because we're gonna send out the signals to the LED light. We're gonna do the same for the buzzer, pin mode buzzer output and, and for the sensor we have to type pin mode sensor input because we're gonna be reading the values of the sensors. We're also gonna have to type serial begin 9600. With serial, we're actually gonna be able to read the values of the sensor on our computer screen. All right, so this is it for the setup function. Now let's go into the loop function. So here, first of all, we're gonna make a timer. So we're gonna type if delay timer is less than a thousand, we're gonna add the delay timer one. So this is gonna run until the delay timer is less than a thousand. We also have to make another variable in which we're gonna save the number that the sensor actually outputs. To read the number, we're gonna type sensor input equals analog read 
we're gonna read the analog value of the sensor that it brings back to the Arduino board. All right, so this is it. Let's go to the else statement. So basically once the timer is over, it's gonna go into the else statement and in the else statement, we're actually gonna make the code for the sensor. Now let's get started. So here we're gonna make a if statement if sensor input is bigger than 100. So when the laser actually shines on the sensor, it's gonna be more than 100, so nothing's gonna be happening. But once somebody is gonna pass the sensor, the laser is not gonna shine on the sensor anymore, even for a millisecond. The sensor is gonna detect that and go into the else statement. Here we're gonna use the boo function and set it to true. All right, so this is it. Now we're gonna make another if statement. If movement detected equals equals false, something's gonna happen else, which is gonna be run once the movement detected is set to true, the light is gonna start blinking. So we're gonna test it out only with the light and we can add the sound later. We also have to type serial print line sensor input. So this is actually gonna print the numbers that the sensor is detecting on our computer screen. All right, so this is it. Now we're gonna take this code that we written before, which is gonna cut it. I use the control X for that. We're gonna go into the if statement and paste it over here. Now we also have to fix all the spaces so it looks better. And yeah, this is it. All right, so the function is written now. Basically what it does, if movement is false, it's gonna check if there's any movement. If it's less than 100, this means the laser is no longer shining on the sensor. So it's gonna go into the else and it's gonna set the movement detected to true. And once the movement is set to true, when the function loops again, the program is not gonna check anymore if there's any movement, it's just gonna go into the else statement and it's gonna make the light blink. All right, so now let's connect our Arduino to our computer. All right, now that we connected our Arduino to, to our computer, let's click on the button upload. And as you see, there's an error, we made a mistake over there. Uh, we forgot to add the thing at the end of the buzzer 10. All right, this is it. Let's try if it's gonna work now. All right, we actually messed up the name of it. So let me go back to the value and we're just gonna copy paste it over there. So fix it. And now it's working, all right. If you still have any problems, go to the tools and under board, select Arduino Uno and under port, select your Arduino Uno port. All right, so now that we uploaded the code, go under tools and click on serial monitor. Here, you're gonna see all the values that the sensor outputs. All right, so now that we've written the code and uploaded it to Arduino Uno, let's check out if this actually works. We have to point the laser to the sensor inside the tube so for that, you can move the sensor around a little bit, but don't move it too much because it could, it could break. So now that we aligned the sensor, as you see, the values are way larger than 100. And when we put our hand over there, just for a millisecond, the value is gonna go under 100 and the light starts blinking. This means that everything is working. And now we can actually type the code for the buzzer. And let's type tone, buzzer. And we're gonna use the value 900. And on the other side, we can use tone buzzer 800. All right, that's it. Now let's upload the code again to Arduino. And yeah, here we go. You have your laser security system as seen in the movies. Let's go. Mm -hmm.